Welcome to Road to WrestleMania Royal Rumble for SNES and Genesis. This is Ron Moore, and I love both versions of Royal Rumble. I think there's an Xbox version, but I never played that one, but I'm talking about the old school games right here. So I'm starting off with the SNES version, and I did a Royal Rumble review with Savage Reviews last month, I think it was. The link is in the description box below, check it out. And back in 2012, I did a long time no play or something like that of Royal Rumble for Genesis. I'll put that in the description box as well. Star Soldier and Fear 22 do commentary with me in that video. All right, so let's get started here. Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, this, is, this is actually a good wrestling game, even though LJN did it. And, oh, man. <laughs> Does this game really have to start off with the Narcissist, Lex Luger? I'm not a big fan of the Narcissist or Made in the USA Lex Luger. I love the Total Package, though. The Total Package Lex Luger is cool. So I'm going to go through these wrestlers interest themes right here to see what they sound like. That's one of the favorite things I did when I was a kid with these games is listen to the interest music. Alright, so there's Million Dollar Man. Randy Savage is next. Oh, yeah. I'm the cream, yeah. The cream of the crop. Thinking, thinking, thinking. That sounds okay. I'm thinking the Genesis version sounds a little bit better. Yes, Mr. Perfect. It says from Minnesota. Don't even say from what city. Interesting tidbit. Rick Rude and Mr. Perfect, Kerr Hennig, went to high school together, I think, in Robinsdale, Minnesota. Oh, yeah. Sounds real good right here. Brett the Hitman Hearts enters music now. <laughs> Tatanka, nice. Yes, I loved Tatanka when I was a kid until he joined the Bandar Corporation. So he sold out. He sold out to everybody. He sold out to his Native American family and friends and all his fans. He had a feud at the time with someone named Ludwig, Ludwig Borga from Helsinki, who I think broke Tatanka's streak. 
don't remember if it's a clean victory or not. All right, so I don't like this version of Ric Flair's interest music. It's not the same as WCW and Crush. I don't care about his that much. Of course, you got to listen to Shawn Michaels' music, right? Special move, back suplex. This is before Sweet Chin music. This is about a year when he split up, split up with Marty Jannetty and became on, uh, became a superstar on his own. All right, I don't, I don't like this version of Raise Your Bones music. And I don't like the Yokozunas, definitely not like the Lugers. All right, we'll listen to all of them, all the ones that I want to listen to. I'm going to pick The Undertaker. The Undertaker takes on all comers in the Royal Rumble Madness. All right, so here we go here. All right, starting out with Reza Amo. That's what I like to do a lot when I was a kid was choke him out. Use the R1 button to choke him out. That weakened him up pretty quick. And I am playing the hardest difficulty here. Let's see how I do. I'm trying to remember the controls here. All right, so the ring can only fill up with six people at a time. And it doesn't, this game does not have timed intervals, like 90 second intervals. So it fills up to six people at a time. And so no one else is coming in until one of these guys is eliminated. Vince McMahon and Bobby the Brain in his commentary back there. What a matchup this is gonna be! What a maneuver! Oh shut up, McMahon. You can't you can't call play by play commentary. That idiot Tatanka. I remember I remember he Bobby the Brain Heenan made a uh, what was it, an Indian joke at WrestleMania 8. He said something about yeah, I said I talked to Tatanka today. Well, what did he say? He said, "Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you?" And Bobby the Brain Heenan did use to manage Mr. Perfect. Yeah, I missed Bobby Heenan and Vince McMahon's commentary, but of course, it wasn't as good as Bobby Heenan and it was. Uh, Gorilla Monsoon, those two together, they were gold. They keep choking. <laughs> oh, all oh, the Razor's Edge. Razor's Edge on the Macho Man. Two future members of the NWO brain. Oh, oh Bret Hart's been eliminated by Mr. Perfect. A perfect elimination. He comes crushed. Oh, Reza Amol eliminated. Woo! Nature Boy Ric Flair. Will he be the 60-minute man like he was in the 92 Royal Rumble? No, he won't. Get out of here. <laughs> I hate to do that to Ric Flair because I love Flair, but you're not going to mess with the Undertaker. Oh, here comes Joko Zuna. Bobby Heenan. Well, you got that idiot uh, Undertaker in there. There's a dummy and that idiot Paul Bear as a manager. They're going to be resting in peace. I remember uh, in an uh, episode of Primetime Wrestling before Raw ever aired, Bobby Heenan was talking trash, and then the next week, Undertaker and Paul Bear appeared, and it's on YouTube. I might put that. I might put that in the description box too, if I don't forget. Uh, Bobby Heenan is acting all scared, and he all of a sudden he turns baby face because Undertaker's sitting across from him at the table and just puts the fear of God in him. He's so scared. Oh, it's hilarious. Ah, the old days of the WWF. Good times. Oh, who was that? I didn't even, I didn't even pay attention. Mr. Perfect just threw somebody out. Man, I got to get the Narcissi out of there. I can't stand the Narcissi. I can't. He's not weakened yet. You got to weaken him up first before you, can elimin before you can eliminate them. However, if they're running after you, you can either hip toss them out. That's what, ah, that's what I'm trying to do, but I didn't get close enough to the ropes. You can either hip toss them out or back body drop them out. Or I think or that might be raw thinking of for Super Nintendo. You can back body drop them out of the ring. Anything can happen in the World Wrestling Federation. Oh, shut up, man. 
This is not these humanoids out here. They don't know what they're talking about. Okay, if you wonder what I'm doing over there, punching the air, I'm waiting for someone to run after me so that I can throw them out or hip toss them out. Oh, someone just got hip toss. Oh, oh Mr. Perfect. Man. All right, here comes the Van Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Will he be able to buy his way out of this match? Will, be, will he be able to buy a victory here at the Royal Rumble? Well, everybody's got a price, McMahon. Yes, the Narcissi's out of there. What are some of your favorite Royal Rumble memories? Comment below. I remember Mick Foley coming in three different times as Dude Love Catches Jack and Mankind. That was cool. I also loved it when the Undertaker won in 2007. Come on, get my Yes, get out of there. I cannot be bought out in this match, Ted DiBiase. I remember the storyline with had the Undertaker versus the Under Faker. A man on a man brought in Under Faker. Oh, come on. He could have hit tossed him out. Ah, jeez. Yeah, so that was like a, a feud in 94, SummerSlam, I think. Undertaker versus Under Faker. I think it's actually the Million Dollar Man who brought the Undertaker <laughs> into the WWF, if I remember correctly. Yes, Crush is out there. All right, now it's just me and Shawn Michaels. Hey, this is Roy Rumble 2007 all over again. It's... These two, the last two remaining. But will the Undertaker win this time? I'm over here. Yeah, see, I'm hoping, like, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. I'm hoping you run after me so I can eliminate him. Jeez, I forgot when you grapple him, I forgot what move it was to hip toss him out. Ah, no. I remember the Undertaker's baby face turn when he stopped Jake Roberts from hitting Macho Man and Elizabeth with the chair. Then they had their match with, and they had their match at WrestleMania 8. And that was when Jake the Snake Roberts became victim number two of the WrestleMania streak. Still can't believe they had Brock Lesnar break the streak. The streak should have never been broken. But anyway, that's a different rant for a different time. No, don't get thrown out. Ah, dang it. Could have eliminated him right there. Jeez. I'm probably going to give up because I don't know. This is, uh, this is hard to eliminate him right here. It shouldn't be. I mean. I just forgot the I'm pushing all the I'm just mashing buttons right here. All right, come on, come after me, come after me, come after me. Yes! Wow! It is Roy Rumble 2007 all over again. Undertaker wins. So I eliminated uh, this time. The Undertaker is a 60, 60 minute man. The uh, the one to win alongside Shawn Michaels in '95 came in at number one, and who was who else was it? Who else was that one? Oh yeah, Chris Benoit. I wonder why I didn't remember that. Oh yeah, because I'm not supposed to. You're not supposed to remember Chris Benoit. So it's Stevie Richards that won the 2004 Royal Rumble as entry number one. All right, so the Undertaker, the biggest and baddest. Right, so I eliminated five people: Flair, the Narcissi, Ted DiBiase, Crush, and Shawn Michaels. All right, like right, the seven minute and 40, 41 second man, seven minute man. All right, now let's move on to the Sega Genesis version of the Royal Rumble. And I like this version better, and I did have the cartridge. Oh, well, we can tell right off the bat though the graphics look better on the SNES version. 
But to me, the soundtrack sounds better on here. Yes, this version has the immortal Hulk Hogan. This is during the time where Hogan was leaving the WWF to go make movies or to go film Thunder in Paradise, actually. And then the next year, he came out of retirement and went to WCW. Oh, Papa Shango. IRS. So they don't have the Million Dollar Man in this version. They got IRS. All right, so let's get started here. <laughs> I like the model Rick Martell. Yeah, Rick Martell is a good wrestler. And what the heck? I apologize. A little technical difficulty there with the controls. Let's put it, speaking of difficulties, put it on 10. All right, Hacksaw Jim Duggan here. Charging clothesline, better than old glory. All right, next, no. All right, let's see how this version sounds. Doesn't sound bad, sounds just as good as the SNES version. All right, moving on here. I gotta listen to some more of the model, Rick Martell. From Cocoa Beach, Florida, weighing 234 pounds, the model, Rick Martell. Special move, the Boston Crab. Yeah, Rick Martell is a pretty good wrestler. He was one half of the tag team Strike Force or can am connection i think i forgot that had that song girls and cars from wrestlemania for the nes <laughs> oh man but rick martell was definitely a great in-ring in worker he played a good heel character right here he had that big perfume bottle and sprayed it in the eyes of jake the snake roberts and they had they had their feud and i always love listening to this music right here very relaxing I remember he wrestled in WCW briefly in 1998. Had a little feud for the television title against Booker T. Unfortunately, he got injured, and then that's when he retired. All right. IRS. He has the same music as Man Daughter Man's. Let's hear it. Yeah, sounds pretty good. My friend thought this guy's name was Iris. I go, no, it's IRS. He goes, oh, well, I thought it was Iris. I know the guy named Iris. I'm like, really? Okay, anyway. All right, let's listen to Randy Savage's, for, uh, the Genesis version of Macho Man. Didn't sound too bad. Sounds about the same as the SNES version. So I guess they're both neck and neck. All right, let's listen to the Genesis version of Brett Hitman Hart. Doesn't sound too bad. All right, yes, we gotta listen to Real American. Leg drop off the ropes. Just say the big leg drop or the leg drop. He put the big leg drop on Gawker. Congratulations, Hulk Hogan. He deserved that victory.
So Hogan was exclusive to the Genesis version and Ric Flair was exclusive to the SNES version. I guess they couldn't be in the same game because it's not big enough for both their brother. They finally didn't really wrestle each other until WCW. They did in WWF. It's like live events, like house shows and stuff, I think. I don't really remember. I might be wrong. But anyway, here's The Undertaker. Eh, the SNES version sounds better. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to select the Narcissist so they can get eliminated and let the CPU go at it because I just want to watch them go at it. So I want to pick the sorriest wrestler in this game, which in my opinion is the Narcissi Lex Luger. And here we go. The two pretty boys are starting it out now. But Rick Martel would run circles around Lex Luger as a wrestler. All right, here comes Iris. Oh, the Undertaker's in, the winner of the SNES Royal Rumble. Will he win this one as well? Well, you got to understand something, Monsoon. The Undertaker's a dead man. <laughs> Will you stop? Raise the I'm all and crush now in the rumble. Will crush, crush the competition. Yes, Lex Luger's out of there. Thank you, Reza Amo. Oh, here comes Bret Hart. IRS is finishing move. It's called the write-off. Now, when I was a kid, I didn't know what the heck a write-off was because, you know, I didn't do taxes when I was a kid. But course it makes sense now the write-off which the actual move is like a clothesline or something but perfect name for it the write-off man a lot of them are worn out already oh Undertaker's out of there what well he won't be winning this one here comes Shawn Michaels. Oh, Razor's Edge on the model, Rick Martel. Those two, there was a battle royal on Raw back in like 92, I think it was. 92, 93. The last two in that, ro in that not the Royal Roman match, but the last two in the battle royal would face each other the next week on Raw for the vacated IC title. And that's when Razor Ramon won. Will Rick Martel get his revenge in this battle royal? Bret Hart and Macho Man going at it now. Oh, wait, another Razor's Edge on Rick Martel. Jeez. Did Bret Hart and Macho Man ever wrestle each other? I can't remember. Oh, I got the Boston Crab and Razor Ramon. Using this finish move on Razor Ramon now. Boston Crab, very basic, but very painful. Oh, Rick Martell eliminates Razor Ramon. The guy's revenge. Oh, Macho Man just eliminated Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. Man, oh, Boston Crab now on Crush. Here comes Papa Shango. Man, he really did scare me when I was a kid. I really thought he was putting curses on people. Here comes the immortal Hulk Hogan. Oh, here comes another real American, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Yeah, I was kind of shocked that Papa Shango and Undertaker didn't. Oh, this is finishing move, the shoulder breaker. I'm surprised they didn't have a feud back then. I mean, that would have been awesome. For those of you who don't know, Papa Shango is, who is also known as the Godfather, who will be inducted into the 2016 Hall of Fame. 
Uh, I think Rip Martell tried to eliminate Hogan too early or it's too close to the corner right there. Oh, someone just eliminated Rick Martell. Oh, uh, double atomic drop. Hogan with a drop kick. <laughs> Oh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan eliminates Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, shoulder breaker on Crush. Oh, he just tried to do a Tully Blanchard suplex. Oh, Crush just eliminated Papa Shango. He's been cursed with it. The curse of elimination fail. All right, well, curse that, and that's. Oh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, a drop kick too. They had. There's two wrestlers you never see leave their feet: Hacksaw and Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan's face over there, looking all his higher. That's how he really looks too when he's whenever he's in peril. I hate you! I hate you! Oh, headbutt! <laughs> oh, headbutt like something special. Another headbutt. What a maneuver. All three superstars, they're very tired, Brain. Well, yeah, you got to understand something. When you're in the ring for a long time, you get very tired, McMahon. <laughs> Who's that? Was that Bobby Heenan or Skip Rogers commentating? Oh, he just eliminated Hacksaw. Oh, he just eliminated Hogan. Crush wins. He crushed the competition. Your winner of the 1993 Royal Rumble match, Rush. Yokozuna is actually the real winner of the 93 Roy Rumble. Macho Man was the last one in there with him. All right. So after six minutes and 12 seconds, it is over. He just eliminated those three people. Hacksaw, Papa Shango, and Hulk Hogan. Well, anyway, that is the end of WWF Royal Rumble for SNES and Genesis. I really enjoyed these two games when I was a kid. These two were some of the most fun wrestling games I played as a kid. I loved both the SNES and Genesis versions, but I love the Genesis version better. I never actually owned the SNES cart. I owned the Genesis cart twice. I believe I mentioned that in the Savage review of Roy Rumble. I talked about how I bought it at a pawn shop years ago. Or I think about it towards R Us, but then I bought it later on at a pawn shop, forgetting they already had it. Or uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, it's uh, that was a long time ago. I, I do remember buying it twice by accident, so I had two copies of the game and I really loved this game or both both games and I loved watching the CPU going at it seeing who wins the Royal Rumble good times it was very fun to play both versions all right so that is the end of Road to WrestleMania WWF Royal Rumble for SNES and Genesis I will see you next time at the next stop on the Road to WrestleMania I'm Ron Moore God bless and take care